today it's all about Christmas pyjamas. Hi everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. I'm currently doing a mini series called The 12 Makes of Christmas and I'm on makes number eight and nine I'll be honest with you, I do not know if I'm gonna make it to 12. I am seriously running out of time and energy and steam and all of that. So this is two makes in one video. They kind of tie in together as one outfit. So that's how I'm doing it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link a playlist at the end of this video if you wanna catch up on all my other makes which I've been doing throughout this month of December. On to today's video, which is all about Christmas pajamas. And I used a pattern which was Simplicity 3935. Now this is a multi-pattern, so you can do it for as men, women, teenagers, and children. There's also a fun addition of um, slippers and a remote control holder. I just had to double check and what it was, and that's that one there. I did not make, as you can see from this neckline, I did not make the top. Um, and the reason being, when I got the pattern pieces out, it was huge. The arm was like this big, and I only bought one meter of this fabric. Now this is a brushed cotton. I will pan down in a minute so you can see the bottom half, because the pyjama bottoms are from this pattern here. But the, I'll start with the top, which is, and it's the Grain Line Scout Tee. Now off the top of my head, I'm thinking, is this a free pattern? It may well be. I will confirm on the screen if it is or not. I downloaded it as a PDF and printed it out a couple of years ago, I think. And I do have an issue with it, but it's basically a t-shirt for wovens rather than stretch knit. And the neckline, the neckline is just really big and really kind of, when you make it for normal wear, it's, I have not found that it's a great fit on me, but that I think that sometimes is the green line style of things. What I did was, because I was making this as a pyjama top, I wanted it to be nice and loose, so I literally just graded out and just stuck on a good couple of inches to the front and the back and the bottom hem as well, just to make it longer for what I had wearing it initially as a t-shirt. So as you can see, this is quite big. Um, it should probably be like that, but I just thought, I mean, if you're sleeping in something, you don't want anything tight if there's no stretch to it. And I did add a bit of length to the sleeve as well because I thought I did have enough enough fabric to be able to do that and I thought I would just extend that out. And I made, let's just pan a little bit down. Weird lighting on my face, you just have to bear with me. Now it does say um, to cut out a strip, a single strip on the bias, but I didn't have enough. So I did a couple of strips and then just joined them together to make bias binding. And this is just top stitching. You can't actually see the edge of the bias binding because it's all flipped, all flipped to the inside. So that is just flat and um, I just top stitch that down. There are no bust darts, there are no darts at all in this. So it's a very loose pattern. Like I said, it's not something that I would wear out and about, but the sleep in, it's fine, it's comfy, and this is kind of either sleepwear or loungewear. It's not, it's not sexy, it's not stylish like some pajamas are, but this is just a comfortable kind of loungewear. I thought I'd do it in like Christmasy fabric. So I bought one meter of this and one and a half meters of the bottom fabric. So I will, they're both brush cotton, just pan down there. Now, these pajama bottoms are huge. They are like clown's trousers. They are ridiculous. Now, it has, it's literally just, you fold over. You probably can't see because of the fabric. I didn't make a real effort to match. Um, and then it's just, it's like literally an inch um, where you then put the, put the elastic in. There, unfortunately, there aren't any pockets. And because I was running out of time, I thought I do have some leftover fabric. I could have done inseam pockets, but I couldn't be bothered, so it's a little bit annoying that there's no pocket there. But these trouser legs were absolutely ginormous. I will pan up so you can see my face, you're not just staring at my knee, because then that's probably irritating. So there we go. But yes, I have taken in so much fabric from the outside of the egg, egg, outside of the leg, and the inside seam of the leg, and they are still, I think, really big, especially 
when you get below the knee, they just like, because this is, and the weird thing is, it's the same size for men and women. So you just go by like the waist and the sort of like the hip and you've got like the, the level of like where the crotch goes. But then that's it. And I was just like, there's no way that these would be just like women's pyjama bottoms because they're just you. They're just huge. I think they're quite unflattering. There's way too much fabric. I cut off so much fabric. I've shortened them on the pattern pieces anyway. And I still had to cut off a good three inches off the bottom and then hem them by an inch as well. So I was a bit annoyed. So I got a metre and a half of fabric. And there's no way that that should take that amount. And it's just, I could have easily had some left over to then make something else with. So I was just a bit annoyed about fabric it tells you to do. Tells you to use. And you just got these ridiculous trousers. They're just huge. And I think with the, um, with the envelope, it just doesn't, if you look, I mean, I guess they are kind of wide. But the model, you know, I suppose that is like a wide leg, but that does not sort of show you or indicate that they're literally like that all the way down. They don't even really go in. So like I said, I have, I've taken like inches and inches off, like five inches probably in total off each, the width of each leg. And they're still massive. I mean, they are comfy. I just don't think they're particularly that flattering. I also don't think this top is particularly flattering either now I'm looking at it because I'm used to having waist definition and I think it probably does make me look bigger than what it should do but obviously if I'd done that then it'd be a bit tight so I could easily take some of this side bit in because like I said I just didn't even I didn't even like specifically grade out I just like chopped I might take a photo I think I took a photo when I was cutting out so you can see where the pattern piece is and how much extra I did extra thought oh, and I have already taken it in from um, from here, I have already taken some out of there, but it's just big and baggy. But if you want to make some pajamas which are super comfy, and if you've had a big feed, so like on Christmas Day when you've all partied out and you've had your Christmas lunch, you've had your nibbles in the evening, and you want to sit down in front of the telly and watch your film or something, ideal, ideal clothes to wear. So. These are makes number eight and nine. I have make number 10 coming, which I think if I can persuade my husband to join me, I will show you something that I was making for him, which it's not really Christmassy, but it, and when I calculated it, it took tw about 12 hours of solid sewing. So I think it's worth popping in for this series and it's what I did last weekend. And there's a little bit of a story that goes with that. So I will pop that in and hopefully he'll film with me later. I'm doing, so this is Vlogmas, I am day 23, so I think I'm uploading this video for Sunday, and so I will be filming on Sunday for uploading Monday for so this is Vlogmas as part of the vloggers tour. I will pop a list down below in the description box of all the vloggers who are doing a day each throughout the month of December, so you can watch those videos, and there's a few more to watch right through until, and the last, I think there is a roundup on Christmas Day by Laura of the Specky Seamstress who has organised this whole thing. I have no idea what I'm going to film tomorrow, whether I'm going to film a make, because that would combine a make and the vlog, or whether I do a day in life. I have no idea at the minute. It's literally just see how it goes. The house is complete pigsty because I spent most of December either at work, sewing, filming or editing and the housework has kind of gone a bit awry. But I went to the supermarket tonight and I did the big shop. I've got the turkey, I've got the vegetables, I've got everything, I think. So I should have a couple of days to get the house organized and sorted ready for Christmas. But I might just put it on hold and film. It's one of those things, I'm in a quandary of what's more important. Anyway, enough of my waffle. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you again very soon.